The handover ceremony was Deputy Prime Minister Uhuru Kenyatta's final duty before exiting the Finance Ministry docket, a duty that provided a final platform for him to highlight some of the milestones achieved by Treasury under his tenure. I took over this docket in 2008 when basically economic growth as a result of the post-election violence had collapsed to a low of 1.6 percent. But by the time we were reading our third budget, we had actually managed to expand the growth of our economy to about 5.6 percent. So thank I wish you the very best. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank yeah? you. <laughs> but it was a quick handover by the man who stepped aside Thursday following a decision by the ICC pre-trial judges to confirm charges of crimes against humanity leveled against him and who wanted no further questions from inquisitive journalists that signified his exit. The acting minister for finance. <laughs> and the entry yes. of the man appointed by President Kibaki immediately after and whom all eyes are on to make an impact in one of the government's top organs. Even in marriage, uh, there's honeymoon. I would like you to give me a honeymoon <laughs> for 300 days. <laughs> honeymoon as I try to learn uh, the ropes. It may be difficult for the acting finance minister to have his request granted, seeing the number of issues in his entry, most of which must and should be completed on or before Parliament reopens on the 14th of February. Issues such as prioritizing the passing of the Finance Bill 2011, finalization of the 2011-2012 supplementary budget, resolving such issues as the 600 million US dollar external loan, the financial management bill 2012, the VAT bill, and most importantly, preparing for the 2012-2013 budget, whose final copy is expected by end of April. Will he be able to take on the tough chores ahead of him? The question many continue to ask of a man, many argue, does not have a proper financial and or economic background. I'm not going to let the country down. I'm not going to let Kenyans down. I may not know everything in uh, monetary and economic policies, but I know where to get it. I know where to get it. We have the experts here. Uh, we have experienced people here. So I will be calling upon them from time to time. The minister, who also holds the Nairobi Metropolitan Development Docket, promises to dip his hands in the mud immediately, and an entire nation awaits to see that impact as we approach another financial year. Evelyn Omboy, Citizen Live at 9.